Let's test your understanding of Newton's third law. Here's a question. An object of mass m sits on a flat table. The earth pulls on this object with force mg, which we call the action force. What is the reaction force? A, the table pushing up on the object with force mg. B, the object pushing down on the table with force mg. C, the table pushing down on the floor with force mg. Or D, the object pulling upward on the earth with force mg. Well, first of all, let's think about this. We've already got something pulling down on, um, on the object. The earth is pulling down on the object. So if we're going to have a reaction force, it has to be in the opposite direction. Let's look at some of these answers. The table pushing up on the object with force mg, that's definitely in the right direction. It's upward. The second one is the object pushing down on the table with force mg. Well, as we said, the reaction force has to be going in the opposite direction. And the table pushing down on the floor with force mg, that's going the wrong direction as well. We need something going up. So we have two possibilities. The second thing we need to remember is that there is a symmetry when we look at the force, the two forces. We have two objects. If we remember the person and the ground from our um, earlier explanation, we had the force on the ground by the person was equal and opposite to the force of the ground on the person. So if we look at this, we hear ground, person, person, ground. What about this? We have earth on object. So what is going to counter that? We have earth on the object. And the only thing that could possibly be would be the the force of the object on the earth. So if the earth pulls on the object, the object pulls on the earth with the opposite direction. So the only possible answer then is D.